ISTQB Foundation Level Version 303. You are testing a PIN validator, which accepts valid PINs and rejects invalid PINs. A PIN is a sequence of digits. A PIN is valid if it consists of four digits, and at least two of them are different. Which of the following sets of input test data cover all equivalence partitions for this scenario? A. 111 1-2-3-4 1-2-3-4-5-6 B 1-1-2-3 1-1-1-1 1-2-3-4 D. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed in changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do, and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. According to ISTQB syllabus, to achieve 100% coverage with equivalence partitioning, test design technique, Test cases must exercise all identified partitions by covering each partition at least once. Pay attention, this is an equivalent partitioning question, not a boundary value analysis question. Don't mix up these black box test design techniques. The most important thing is to determine the equivalence partitions correctly. There are five equivalent partitions for input data. Class 1. L1. Length is 1, 2, 3. Class 2. L2. Length is 4. Class 3. L3. Length is 5, 6 and more. Class 4. D1. Digits. Pin that is all the, the same digits. Class 5. D2. Digits. Pin with at least two different digits. There are two equivalent partitions for output data. Class 6. G1. A legal pin. Fulfill both L2 and D2. Class 7. G2. Illegal pin. Correct answer is A. 112 covers D2. L1, G2. 1111 covers D1, L2, G2. 1234 covers D2, L2, G1. 123456 covers D2, L3, G2. All classes are covered. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer B is not correct. One covers D1, L1, G2. One, two, three covers D2, L1, G2. One, 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 one covers D1, L2, G2. One, two, three, four, five covers D2, L2, G1. Plus L3 is not covered. Length is 5, 6 and more is not checked. Answer C is not correct. 1, 2 covers D2, L1, G2. 1, 1, 2 covers D2, L1, G2. 
one 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 two covers D two L two G one 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 two covers D two L three G two plus D one is not covered. Pin that is all with the same digits is not checked. Answer D is not correct. One covers D one L one G two. One 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 covers D one L one G two. One 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 covers D one L two G two. One 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 covers D one L three G two. Classes D two and G one are not covered. Pin with at least two different digits and legal pin are not checked. My recommendation. The most important thing is to determine the equivalence partitions correctly. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 4.2.1 equivalence partitioning in the ISTQB syllabus. I suggest you figure out this section on your own. Maybe this question seems complicated at first glance, but after practicing with the help of my video channel ISTQB questions, you will quickly learn how to answer such kinds of questions and prepare for the ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation level exam. Never give up!